welcome back to the channel uh, this is our second full day in Paris we didn't arrive until sort of five o'clockish on the Saturday night so if, if you've not seen there's some videos from Versailles and also Mamartre which we did yesterday today we're going on a coach tour around the sites of Paris and then we're gonna have some free time and we're also going on a river cruise as well so uh, if you want to uh, carry on and watch this video you'll see what we're up to and where we get to on uh, our free time as well so uh, please carry on and watch the video and we'll see you later on Yeah, there it is. It's over there, yes, absolutely. Equally, off to Alain's side, on the distance, well as the uh, cranes are, that's where the Stade de France is, the national stadium for the, uh, the football rugby, Six Nations, etc. Yeah, some building good up there, isn't it? Must be rolled for Olympic. Looking chimneys are, etc. That's where we've come from, where the hotel is. As we turn the corner, we'll drive along the, the quayside. And in doing that, so you'll get a fairly good view of the... In saying that, you probably won't see when we turn the corner, but uh, you never know. So as we turn, you'll have the technical gardens on the left as we drive up towards Notre Dame. Scaffolding is a real treat for you coming up. But we get through the likes. Uh, Paris is oldest restaurant, the one on the left, just down here. That's the 1582 restaurant. Oldest one in the city. And the scaffolding, that's, that's your, your peaks there. So in coming past the cathedral, uh, if you're around this area later on, uh, if, you walk, if you were to walk over the bridge in front of us, we've got that sort of uh, temporary uh, black structure with a uh, sort of white plastic windows, that bit over there to your right. Go down the stairs there, and beneath you, uh, you've got uh, a long, uh, narrow wall, that's three times the length of the page. Lots of ways of getting around Paris, obviously the metro, service buses and so on. Now all the faculties are spread over different parts of the city. But as we go straight on, when we get by the next Actually, chapter, got look up the hill to your left, <laughs> where, that's, where that black bus head is turning just now, you see a great dome at the top of the hill, that, that's where the university is, but spread over lots of areas around the city now. Um. Side. See the green zone of the university at the front, just about now. In turn, uh, the next street to your left hand side uh, will be the narrowest street of Paris uh, called La Rue du Chaki Pesh, Street of the Fishing Cat. As it moves, yes, as it's running in places, say lots of uh, talic path streets, uh, wall to wall. Yeah, he does, yeah. Yes, I'm both bad. You turn as Paris uh, spread out from being just around the Notre Dame area, <laughs> then they came to the Eiffel Bridges to connect either side, out of which you know, the old tradition is set up. Tonight when we come around, uh, we'll come through the middle of the Louvre, as inside there you've got the big glass pyramid, the main entrance, the Louvre, with the same behind it as well. No one knows a corridor within it, and it is that big. Right, tonight we'll come through it. Nine miles to carry door. The weekends, the business, the shopping. Uh, General de Gaulle in his lifetime, uh, question to your witness. Is that the Louvre? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
fairly short. We'll aim to pull into like the loop uh, too often. We'll just see what traffic's like in the at the next junction. So just bear with us at the loop too. What we do, uh, we'll have a first uh, stop of the photos. If we'll be outside, um, well, in the one set of light at a time. We'll be in the museum off to your left hand side. It looks like a train station because it was up to 1800, give or take. After 1800, it's in this building to your left hand side, which is a tra was a train station. We'll stop here so you can come out and have a look. Have a look. So from outside, you, you do see things slightly better. Well, they're called canopies. It used to be a train station, it's a museum now. So we just chopped off for uh, stretch your legs. Got 20 minutes just to explore this little area. We're out where the Louvre is, the other side of the scene. This is an old train station that's uh, been made into a museum now. Once you get through traffic, you're not so bad, are you? <laughs> it's an impressive building though, isn't it? Yes. It's certainly a bit chillier today, isn't it? <laughs> than yesterday, maybe more. A rhinoceros. And a horsey. Like we're all going back up coach. <laughs> Doing something out the uh, metro. Yeah. Uh. It's the, um, the, the bike lanes have been put in, like this one on the right hand side, for example. In turn, uh, downstairs on the key side, that's all pedestrianised as well. Uh, so, so when I first came in the uh, 89, the first trip, so not these boats, permanent fixtures, that they don't move. But uh, cafes on board, you can break your, your strolls up. Very pleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, still, still to your left, there'll be some uh, an open gate to finish. Sure. Through there, uh, you will see some chandeliers. Uh, that'll, be, that'll be the foreign ministry. It's where uh, heads of state are, are wind and dined. Uh, don't think Boris is welcome there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, chandeliers of oil, eyes left. Bridge. Uh, that was gilded in 1989 to celebrate 200 years of the revolution. In turn, all the gilding awaits your left hand side. That gilded dome inside there, that's the tomb where the tomb of Napoleon is. The building that's in the foreground before the dome, uh, in French called the Hotel des Invalides, literally Hotel of the Invalids. Built as a hospital for wounded soldiers back in the day. The left wing of the building, as you see it, uh, that's where the French equivalent of the Chelsea pensioners are. That's the Gilded Bridge, and that was, uh, I think he said it was National Ex Exhibition Centre built many, many years ago. That Gilded uh, Dome is where Napoleon's uh, 
grave is, from what I understand. I'm not very good at this history park or tour guide. When you see the Apple Tower, there's lots of aerials, masts, antennas on the top of the tower, and it doesn't sort of quite uh, gel. That's because that's what they were there to start with. The tower just meant. Also, when you take your photos of the tower, above the arches of the, uh, the legs, level one, you see lots of. <coughs> Bridge you see here, 1900, get the little lights on the Bell Alley Time, a real, real uh, look at. Used by lots of uh, advertising companies for uh, adverts. You'll see the Apple Tower's a backdrop behind the bridge. Sits across the lake, I think that's where you saw earlier. And between those columns to your right, that's the roof of the theatre. During the uh, occupation, that's where photographs of Hitler and the troops were taken because the French took all the left elevator stairs out of the Eiffel Tower. So they had to stand there like tourists for their photos. So all the publicity shots of the German uh, forces were over there to the right. It stood like a tourist. Any of the problems you see in buildings, there'll be a few hither and thither around the city, uh, mainly well intentioned by the Allies when Paris was liberated <laughs> August 44. So we'll just loop around the other side of the tower and that way you can uh, get some good photos. Also, when you do come off for photos, etc., uh, be aware of people who offer bags of clothes, ladies, etc., in a totally safe way. Or chaps, be careful with your map bags. Nowadays, thieves don't look like thieves. In the old days, we had swag tattooed on the forehead. <laughs> So we'll go towards the fountains and beyond. Again, as the examples come in the bridge, you'll see lots of souvenir sellers, like you'll have up, at, up in the square, up top. Uh, basically, the sellers you'll see are illegal traders. So Never gonna get your proper victory. Yeah. So like you say, we're standing in history, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. This is where Riffle stood. To view over Paris. Yeah. That's where Adolf Hitler stood when he uh, took Paris. Yeah, you just need to stretch your legs. No. No. I have to put that down as adult now. <laughs> so 
They must do in Ferrari drives. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You want to ride in a Ferrari? Well, we'll get back up for coach. Yeah, they're all trying to hold the turn. Eiffel Tower up. Find a bit tip at hand, or run it. Yeah, we're going to go to town. I think we'll leave them to it now, don't you? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> We've seen Eiffel Tower, that's good enough. Yes, tourism is back with a vengeance, isn't it? Definitely. Professional photographers with them. Yeah, it's like in uh, Versailles, isn't it? Yes, it. Yes, it's certainly one busy place, Paris, isn't it? Definitely. You want to come, don't leave it much Gonna get manic. Definitely busier today, isn't it? Yes. Ah, put down the upper. Uh, I'll rest my case. Come on, come on. Ah, need, ah, need, ah, need, ah, need. Ah, need. <laughs> That's it's only a bit busy today, isn't it? You've got to the Irish clock, haven't you? <laughs> Just ask where the hospital is. <laughs> oh, I love that road over there. <laughs> yeah. It's just zigzag everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Which of the twelve roads is his? He doesn't know. We can't get up, we just keep going down. If I ruin pretty much off yesterday, I apologize, but if uh, the insurance companies, if you have a crash on you, they don't pay bills. <laughs> it's understood if you go around here often enough, you're going to hit something eventually. Especially if you go to the circles. Uh, which is good. Mm. Occasionally, when it's uh, uh, peak summer. That's how you get off here, don't mind going on here. But the traffic's much more interesting. Of course, of course, well. All right then. Which road are we going up on? I, I resign. <laughs> Not second time round. <laughs> yeah, we'll go yes, before we're so rudely interrupted. Uh, I'm going to join me, join yourself, keep it up. Uh, the, the caravan uh, driver uh, arrived on the roundabout and you could see uh, they said the ring road, didn't have a clue where it was. And uh, Mrs. Caravan driver was telling him what to do. They weren't getting on well. You could, see, you could see the words. <laughs> you didn't need to translate. You see the words and the gestures and the pointy fingers in the vehicle. I think we'll go down the Chanteliers next. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's on the way. I think he's. He can find his way out. It's just manic, isn't it? I did nowhere to get off. Okay, your side. Good. Well, that's it, it's making his going for it now. That's it. Mm. <laughs> you have, haven't you? How many times around with that? <laughs> <laughs>
And we're the Tour de France uh, final stage. Got tough event uh, every year. Shans will leave. Photo showed yesterday. It's about three years back, the last stage left of the, the, the Palace of Versailles. Wouldn't it? Cheap jobs on here, isn't it? Mm. As you'll see, if you're on the Shots of Lisey later, go yeah, right way across the Zebra, and that is where you stop to have your picture taken in the middle of the road. Oh, yes. Again, the words target and practice, respectively. So, lead over to your left, and you draw the bit to your right. Trees to trim, isn't there? Mm. You agree, yeah. If the shots are is where you want to come to for a stroll later it's on, it's a long road, isn't it? Mm. You're not far away from where the, the boats are. For argument's sake, if these bit. Uh, quite a good expression for window shopping, they call it Les Chalet Vitrine to lick the windows. <laughs> Uh, a normal window is a, a, a French speakers, a normal window is a, a fenetra. Shop window is vitrine, like bit vitreous, but uh, glassy. So the window windows. The Chalet vitrine is on the, on the lamppost. If a foreign head of state is visiting, our flag will be pulled up beside the French one. So go down to earth in the country. Christmas time is all like a wine glass, done in a certain way. It's like the. the uh, um, Central bit of the tree is the uh, of the, the flute. And where these uh, art, watery, arty the structures are, there uh, you'd have uh, different floral designs, crests, motifs, uh, the trees done a uh, spray with sort of white paint, all those. So it was very festive and uh, Christmas. Don't know how long it is. Yeah, it's long. As we turn on the right there, there's uh, Shoulder Gall on Avenue Wisdom Churchill now. Yeah. Firstly, a couple of other statues uh, off to your left hand side beneath the trees. It's not the Jolly Fish in the Skagness, <laughs> but it could be, couldn't it? Uh, that's uh, that's a Frenchman, uh, Georges yeah. Clemenceau, uh, was the leader of Paris in the 20s, okay, also he was mayor of Montmartre at one time. So that's Mr. Clemenceau off to your left. As we come through, across the way to your left. Better inside museum, of it, yeah. Sadly closed today. But um, I'll still have a look uh, through the windows. You'll see a few exhibits. If you have no idea what lies inside. Very nice carvings, lovely paintings. Really nice place inside. It sounds like a really nice cafeteria. Really classy at the fair. Yeah. Can you come back again? Any day except today, it's open and it's free. Which makes it even better. Yeah. Him and Jagul come in for the part of the child, opposite to the street, opposite. It's a charm of them lime scooters, don't it? Settlers settled on Notre Dame's uh, island. Looking through that way, where I'm sort of vaguely pointing, where those trees are on top of the roof, and the, the flag is pointing. Good. Well, that's Hotel Creole. Uh, nowadays, and of course, there's been a few things over the years. When the French won the World Cup in 1998, that cheating RG got Beckham sent off. I've got, I've got issues. It's like therapy, this thing. Set uh, up on the roof, that was where Zidane and all the uh, French players waved to the crowd. During the tournament, that was BBC's headquarters. So up on the roof, you know, uh, you know guys going, good evening everybody. Half <coughs> time's the back drop. Half time, sorry. Just keep shifting your chairs, boys. Every angle of a different view. So where we've just come from, uh, eyes to your left, you'll see all the shots of Lise to the other. Okay. Well, we'll be glad to do it. At the time, it's called Avenue of Diamonds and Rubies. Even traffic jumps. Different bits of the city have, uh, have more money invested into it. So 
the, the, the lamp post for example have re regilded recently. Also around the outside of the square you'll have uh, two uh, statues like uh, up to your right there, probably blocked by that double-decker bus now, but two in each corner. They represent the main cities of France. Uh, wh whatever it says at the base of that uh, statue, the city, that's the way you'd be looking in the direction of the city. So each one is placed in a certain, for a certain reason. What's the red girl looking for? Oh. <laughs> Working well, once on the right is there, and so am I. It, was, it wasn't there last week. <laughs> it's big, it's red, and it's over there. That's it. It's blocking most of the footpath, isn't it? It's a city of uh, more expensive shops. Cheap watches in there. <laughs> yeah, again, yeah. windows to lick, absolutely. Yes. L lick around here. <laughs> also, as you'll see, uh, fashion shops will start to appear. Yeah, well, Mash was a uh, dish of the day. Uh, second door along the side of the, of the building. It's, it's basically a little cafe. And uh, in the, like you have an ice cream scoop, getting the mash out and plop on your plate, it's just like that. Not the best meal I've ever had, but, but, but the most enjoyable, fun, slash comedy meal. You never wish to know. Uh, yes. Can I speak here? Go on then. I was like, you're in this lesson. Well, great. Yeah, really nice people. Uh, again, around the uh, Opera House area, which we're starting to come through now, uh, on the left will be the Olympia. Uh, popular concert venue, especially in the 60s. Uh, Sunday show, Monsieur the Clark. Uh, both those two singers did, did a lot of songs in French. They're English hits in French and were very popular over here. Yeah, if you see it later back in our channel, I'll get my Spotify app out and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play you Boom Bang Bang by Lulu in French. That'll change your life. <laughs> and a few other ones like that as well. Drive around it. A uh, bit by Sean Garnier. If you went down to uh, Monaco, you've got the casino down there. That's one of the big buildings. Because otherwise you can't see the building. So avenues are always lined with trees, aren't they? Except the avenue and the opera. So when we get to the opera house, which will be to your left. Frogs out again. <laughs> again, the traffic's much more interesting. But say that, look to your right and you'll see on the avenue, no trees. Because Mr. Garnier said so. There we are. As you can see, people are on the first floor, which suggests it's open for visits today. And uh, where the boats are, there's a direct line to here. So here on the metro, direct. I'll explain later. But again, beyond the Opera House, as, as you'll see, is where the big shops are as well. And if you walk, say, midway down the avenue of the Opera House, you get to a metro called Pyramid, straight line back on line 14 to the hotel. Would be a possibility. Full training will be given. <laughs> so we'll follow the shape of the Opera House around. John have each side of the coach, when we turn left, then look out of your window behind you and you'll see the same there, it, yeah. there we are, that one on the right. Dark hole. Uh, and when we come through the traffic lights, uh, folks on have each uh, side. Uh, now, look, at, look behind you, mate, with that. That's the one for us. We're doing that one, aren't we? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. around this area. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's a, there's a yeah. 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 Um, you can you can get drinks. It's whatever you want it to be. But drinks are available. Tax-free shops are. Metro wise, yes. Uh, if, again, if you shop it, shopping later on, etc. Um, the street off to your left hand side, I'm doing the opera. Polishing his car there. Some. 
there's some rich customer in the shop there, he's polishing the car while they're waiting. Yeah. Right yeah. So, fast one we're coming into now, as you say, and the Ritz will be to your right hand side, mid midway along. So, that's the Ritz. So, that's where Dorval Street, so you get the Ritz, Ritz off to your right there. And where it says Ministry of Justice, the archway just to the left of that door, where it says Meter. So, you can move in black, just over there. Lots of other buildings have become other things in subsequent years. Uh, and a really nice one is the next little hotel on the right here, coming up. It used to be the Texas Embassy. As it says, carved above the door, just here if you're at the front. Look right just now, on past Andrew, Texas. When Texas was a, uh, an independent state, if you want to call it that. And this was their embassy. Mm. Yeah. And it would have been Texas. Just about making it up to that. was embassy yeah. in the 1800s. Now it's just a nice little hotel. Hotel with a past. Mm. Very still not a cheap hotel stuff in there. Because they're quite rare, they stand out. Back to the big red room. So, before we go to the boats, we'll just have a little stop in Concord, uh, because we can, and it's a lovely day, photo to take. Also, should you need, uh, when we pull in, uh, the gilded gates over, over there. Yes, they certainly have some vast open spaces. That's looking up to the Louvre. And that's the bottom of Sean's Elysee. You might just see the Arc de Triomphe in the distance. A lot of work going on. It's a big queue for toilets, isn't it? <laughs> That's looking up towards the Arc de Triomphe, which we'll probably go to tonight. We've got a night tour on. It was your metro ticket. Yeah. But it's a hop on a hop. You can get off at all the sides. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether it's a ticket for each. Uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. Well, that were a quick stop off. Most of us were still waiting for Lou. And there's the bus. Yeah, they certainly re gilded all these posts, haven't they? Yeah. Displays, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, this is the exclusive part, isn't it? Only no object. Uh, that's uh, not 30 quid a night. Talking 300 quid, cheapest, yeah. cheapest. That's the basement, probably. Hey, well, got a show up, isn't it? Go on, man. That's as close as they'll get. It is, watching it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they don't travel a lot, are they? Do they? But they won't worry about uh, waiting luggage on their plane. 
Was it? I'm as associated with Diana. I have yeah, well, I, I think, you have, like you say, there's lots of Princess Diana things there. Yeah, I, I don't. And that's what I associate yeah. with the you know, World Series and the Second World War. No. So, this is where we're going to get on River Cruise. Here's a prime example. On the left there, that's for pedestrians. Is it bit A, B and C? <laughs> I'll blame the parents. <laughs> 